I'm Isabel Stainsby, and I'm reading from The Protector's Legacy by Czech science fiction author Jan Kotovč. Vigo Berngamer smiled wryly as he watched Master Doss hanging by his legs, his head suspended beside one of the generators. This place was always empty, even when the station was operating normally. Twice a day, a robot came to inspect the backup centre, but that was it. But when all the station staff had to evacuate today, Gamer's job suddenly became even simpler. There were no witnesses anywhere in the area. Of course, the security cameras recorded everything here. But they wouldn't be working for the next few hours. Just like the cameras in the other 265 places on the station. And in case any new protectorate technician had a great desire to do some overtime, Gamer had decided simply to make it more difficult for him. So, in ten minutes' time, all station security video archives would be flooded with 800 petabytes of Silmani porn. He knew that the Silmani were flying to the planet today, so why not remind everyone how some Silmani were supporting their fleet in Barondo's film studios? Even so, today he had more important work than disseminating porn. He pressed a small button on the remote, and the suspended DOS twitched and shrieked as the generator charged him with electricity. Well, well, you are awake. DOS took at least five seconds to find his bearings, and Gamer expected better from a chosen. His long hair dangled beneath him as he hung upside down. All sorts of thoughts were definitely chasing through his head, but all other emotions were soon replaced by anger. Who the hell are you? I'm the one who's asking the questions, said Ingamer. If you're looking for help, give up now. Those H genissaries from your personal guard are now pulverising the station's recycling system, and nobody will find them for a while. They won't find you, either. Despite everything, Doss laughed. It was the sort of laughter that Ngamer remembered from villains in the very cheap B-movies he'd watched as a boy, before he discovered musicals. You idiot, do you think I need genissaries to kill you? Doss spat when he had laughed enough. Then he looked fixedly at Ngamer. A brief headache as the Chosen gripped mentally. Then suddenly another roar as more electricity surged through Doss's body. The pressure eased, and Gamer's special tranquilizers, he'd already sent the recipe to the Imperium, mitigated the pain substantially. Yes, I have discovered that when a Chosen uses their mental grip, their neurological activity increases. I've set my computer to give you a shock every time you attempt it. Doss tried it three more times. Each time he was rewarded with an electric shock and pain that forced him to stop. Ngema would have preferred to remain professional and reserved, but he couldn't. He was having so much fun. It was high time to get to work. To create the right atmosphere, he had this time chosen the song Master of the House from his favourite musical, Les Miserables. What the hell do you want, you bastard? Doss asked, somewhat more seriously now. He still wasn't frightened, just angry. Yes, thought Ngema. The Chosen don't differ too much from the worst Anna snobs in that way. They need to prove their superiority to themselves every day. That's their greatest weakness. On the other hand, at least the Chosen aren't born like that. They had to risk their lives by swallowing the symbiont, a piece of protective tissue. So actually, they're not that different from Omegas. And they know, as Omegas do, that sooner or later they will die. Their bodies just contain different shit from ours. I want to know something about your friend's plans here on the station. What are your intentions with the Silmani, the Hammer Fleet, and then everything else that I don't know about? Just imagine that I am your confessor. I want to know everything. Go to hell. And Gamer pressed the button. Another few hundred volts charged through Doss's body. The Chosen began to laugh. Do you really think you can break me like this? That I will blab everything about the new protectorate because you're giving me electric shocks? Moron. We chosen can live with pain. We're not spoiled snobs like the Enhance. The protectors are with me, inside me. You can't threaten me with just anything. He bared his teeth like a trapped beast of prey, challenging you to even try to come close. On a small table, Ngema placed his carrier containing a large number of small, sharp implements, while Monsieur Thénardier sang from the speakers. I know only too well that there's no point threatening a chosen with physical violence. You don't crack that easily. As you commented, you have a piece of protector in your body. I admit that I've tried to learn something about this. It's incredibly interesting. A functioning tumour that actually gives you superpowers. 
and that affects everyone differently. You were lucky, in fact. He made several vague movements around his chest, as if wanting to indicate where Doss's deformation was. He had several obvious bulges on his chest and abdomen. Nothing painful. Nothing substantially visible, even. Even if that one on your side is rather protuberant. What do you call it again? Superordinate sign? Well, you aren't lacking in self-importance, are you? I will so enjoy killing you, Doss promised. No doubt. But before we get that far, I would like to try an experiment. What actually happens to a Chosen who loses their piece of protector? He picked up an implement that looked like something between a scalpel and a large pair of scissors, and was used by the Gleasons, one of a handful of alien races governed by the Central Imperium. The Gleasons call this a dress crawlest. It's apparently a historical implement used by their barber surgeons. It's effective, if a little blunt. Their skin isn't that tough, and I forgot to sharpen it this morning. Doss had run out of insults and threats, and Gamer tore back his shirt and looked at the bulge on his side. Yeah, I would say that we could now establish what happens to a Chosen when they lose their little piece of protector. In the name of science. Doss's roar even drowned out Madame Thénardier.